Okay, the next thing we did was was we painted and enhanced the uh, skirt and the uh, we enhanced the sweater and the shoes and then we fixed uh, the legs up a little bit. So we'll do that here in the GIMP. First thing I'm going to need is a new layer. So I'll go over here and click and I'll create a new layer, transparency. Remember, this has to be a transparent layer. So I click OK and now I'm on my new layer. So I want to click on my new layer to make sure that's where I'm at. And I'm going to get the paintbrush and I need to have a paintbrush with a decent sized brush so I need to figure out over here here's one of the many brushes I've made that's a little bit bigger I want an even bigger brush here let's see here so this doesn't take so long uh, looking 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 okay what do I got here uh, 167 okay that's a big brush so what I need to do now is um, paint on this new layer and I need to paint some red so I'll double click on my color chip here the foreground color chip and I'll select red okay click OK and now on my new layer I can paint red right over her shirt alright and of course this is not looking like this is going to benefit us at all okay but it will in the long run um, so I'm painting right over her shirt here and I'll even paint right over where I'm going to put her new arm eventually okay and I'll paint up here alright and then when I have time I'll zoom in close and I'll get the other edges and then also I'm going to make her uh, skirt maybe a uh, deep a deep brown maybe with a little extra maybe a little blue in it maybe a little purple in it I don't know uh, oh yeah that's nice click over here and I'll paint that I think I'm not sure what color this was originally but I'll just see how this works with it so paint 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 I paint her skirt a bit I can paint um, where her where her legs are. It's a little bit blotchy, so I'm actually going to switch here over here to the black and white chips, flip them, and then I'm just going to paint a nice little strip of white right down the leg a little bit. Oops, I got a little too much there. Edit undo. Need a smaller brush. Let's see here. There we go. Smaller brush. A little bit of white there tad right there, a little bit right there. Okay, her shoes need brown. But before I do that, I'll take this layer, and I'm on this layer, I'm going to change the mode to overlay. And that blends the color in with the background layer. And then um, I can also adjust the opacity down to, let's say, uh, I'll go to 70. And you see now it's colorized the shirt but it hasn't um, destroyed anything or it's not too unobtrusive. So now I can, uh, I can go back and I can keep painting the way I wanted to. Um, of course, I, I probably want to get my brush and maybe I'll get the uh, eyedropper tool and uh, click on the red here to get the red. And then back with my brush. Let's see where it is. There it is. And now I can keep painting right in the layer and just add it and it, it'll look correct as I add to the layer. So that's how we um, basically paint right over an image to enhance the color. Uh, we use the overlay method on the layer and then opacity and we adjust it down.